Hi everyone, I'm Dom from Sony and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Explore Xperia. This series where we aim to show you some new and useful features on your Xperia device. Now today I'm gonna to be taking you through some of the new features and improvements that you can find on the new Android 12 update. And I'm happy to say that the Android 12 update is supported on all of these handsets. However, some functionality may differ between models, so please keep an eye at the bottom of your screen to check to see if the feature that I'm talking about is applicable to your own handset. First up, a great feature for mobile gamers, the DualSense controller is now officially supported for gaming. In order to connect the controller to your newly updated Xperia device, go to Settings, Connection Preferences, and scroll down to Wireless Controller for PS5 and PS4. Tap Pair New Controller, Pair New Device, and then put the DualSense controller in pairing mode by pressing the PS button and the Create button at the same time. After a few seconds, the controller should be detected by the Xperia, select it on your phone and follow the on-screen instructions. Now, not only can you control your Xperia with your DualSense controller, including the use of the touchpad to bring up a mouse cursor on your screen, but you can also control Android games that support controller input. And you can also use PlayStation 5 Remote Play so you can take your gaming all over the house and free up your TV for others to use. There have also been some improvements to Photography and Cinematography Pro, giving you more customizations and control over how you take your photos and create your movies. In Photography Pro, you can now customize your function menu to put your most used settings within easy reach, just like you can on a Sony Alpha camera. And this will help streamline your workflow and get the results that you want even faster. You can also customize the auto exposure lock button and the display button so you can get Photography Pro looking and working exactly how you want it to. And you can now pair the Sony Bluetooth grip to your device and use the controls within Photography Pro to zoom in and zoom out, uh, change the lens on the back, uh, and of course activate eye autofocus and of course take photos. In Cinematography Pro you can now assign the volume buttons to help you manually focus your shot even whilst you're filming your scene and there have been some UI improvements to help you with your workflow whilst you're filming your movies such as showing you how much filming time you actually have left as opposed to how much internal storage is left on your device. Then you have your standard Android 12 editions such as scrolling screenshots. Now although the 21 by 9 display on our Xperia handsets does allow you to see more of your applications, now you can capture even more by simply pressing the power and the volume down button together for your standard screenshot and then hitting capture more where available and then customizing the length of your screenshot. But on the flip side, sometimes having a 21 by 9 display does mean that on occasion some things are slightly out of reach when you're using your phone with just one hand. So what you can do now is double tap the side sense bar, select one handed mode and then the top of your display will be immediately brought down for easier access until your other hand is free. Now, I know it's not the best thing to be scrolling through your phone late at night when you should really be going to sleep, but we all do it anyway. And when it's dark, even when your experience is on its lowest brightness, sometimes that can still be a bit too much. So now there is an extra dim mode available in the quick settings. So with a single tap, your late night chats are a lot easier on the eyes. Android 12 has also made it easier for you to share your Wi-Fi connection with your friends and family. On previous versions of Android, you'd have to tap the settings icon next to your selected Wi-Fi connection, press share, and then you'd have a QR code or the Wi-Fi password on display for you to then tell your friend or family member. But on Android 12, you now have the extra option of nearby share. And this way you don't have to get your friends to scan a QR code or spell out some long complicated password with at least one capital letter, a number, and a special character. Speaking of sharing, sometimes there are things that you may not want to share, such as your precise location. And now you have a choice when an app requires your location. You can either give it your precise location or just an approximate location to give you peace of mind. And another thing that can help you feel a bit more secure is the clear visibility of what apps are accessing your microphone and camera. Now, there are some obvious ones that will use your camera and microphone, such as your camera and calling apps. But if you spot these icons, or if the green notification is on whilst you're using an app that you don't think should have access to your camera or microphone, then you can actually go into your privacy dashboard and revoke those permissions. So there you have it. Some of the great features being rolled out with the Android 12 update. Let us know what your favorite is down below in the comments and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Sony Xperia YouTube channel and I will see you next time.